Flexitive helps brands and agencies to automate design production and distribution. With Flexitive, you can create scalable designs for all channels and file formats fast. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom design templates for your brand that will speed up design creation and approvals and create brand consistency. If at any point you want to jump to a specific topic in this video, there are bookmarks down in the progress bar below. Why are Flexitive custom design templates powerful? Flexitive custom templates are all built from Flexitive designs. This means that any design you build can be turned into a custom template if you plan on using it for more than one design in the future. Because it is built from an actual Flexitive design, any design you build from a template is fully editable and ready for you to make changes to as you need. In addition, if you need to update that template at a later date, you can always jump in and just edit the Flexitive design that that template is based off of. In addition to using a regular Flexitive design, you can always use global assets to provide easier updates to the designs you create from that template. If I use a global asset for a templated design and I update that global asset, it's going to update not just the template, but also any designs that were built from that custom template. To have that update happen, all you need to do is jump into the older designs and resave them. You can also use global assets to lock down certain aspects of the design. So for example, in this adaptive bean template, if I wanted to make it so that only the logo and the background were included in the design, I could upload those as a global asset to this flexitive design and then make it so only the cup, the button, and this text are editable. Managing your custom templates. Once you've created a design you want to use as a custom template, you'll need to go through the process of managing that transition from a design to a custom template that's available for any new design you create. When you build a design as a custom template, you'll want to first make sure that the design is well labeled and easy to find. For example, I've got this design here that I've created. You'll see I've labeled it as ready for review and I've put a description in as well. If I open up the more option, you can see that it is for display, in the United States in English. Now you can also enter custom fields. So we got custom field one, custom field two, as well as a custom identifier if you'd like to provide further identification for this particular design. Once you've labeled your design, you can bring it into this custom design templates folder over here. You can see that we've split the, our folder into an approved for review in progress and live setup. To move a design, simply drag and drop it into the folder you'd like to put it into. And this has now moved that into that custom design templates folder. At this point, if someone wanted to provide review on this particular design, they could let me know if there's any changes that they'd like made before it gets turned into a custom template. Once it's ready to be turned into a custom template, you can simply tap review, switch it to approved, and then if you'd like, you can even drag and drop it into the approved folder. At this point, we recommend getting in touch with your account, uh, with your account representative uh, who will be able to help you with the process of taking this design and moving it from an approved state over to being live in your Flexitive instance. Once that template is live, you can continue to manage and change this design if you ever need to make a change to your custom template. So for example, if we need to swap out this logo for a different version of the logo, you can make the change in this design and it will be available for any new designs you create from that template going forward. How to use a template in Flexitive. Later in the video, I'll show you how to prepare any Flexitive design for use as a custom template. But for now, I'd like to show you how a designer will use a custom template you create. Right now, we're taking a look at the template selection screen in Flexitive. This is the first screen you'll see after creating a new Flexitive design. From here, a designer can choose to enter either a custom template that has been created for your instance, or it can jump, uh, they can jump into a fixed size, responsive size, or social size template. If they like to start from scratch, they can also use a blank canvas. To start working in a template, all they need to do is click on it. For today, I'm gonna to jump into this Adaptive Bean Celebrate Coffee template. Now, once you've clicked on a template, you will be taken into Editor Lite. From Editor Lite, you can make edits to your design, whether you want to update the design labels or the content itself, all in one place. For example, if I wanted to update the design labels, such as adding a description, I can do that here. So for example, I can make this say, celebrate coffee, premium 
roast. And this is going to apply that descriptor to this design. I can also edit the design content. Say, for example, if I wanted to change the button text here to read as learn more, I simply update the text in this field here, and it's going to update this button text for my design. You can also do things like change the color of your text or any shapes that are in your design using this color picker. Or if you'd like to add a new image, you simply click Upload New Image, and you can upload an image to replace, in this case, the bag of beans. If I'd like to take a look at what this design would look like, I'll quickly change this to say Celebrate Coffee, and then tap Preview. This is going to update the preview on this right-hand side to show you the changes that you've made to your design. Now, in this design, we've also set up the layers to have different names based on what they are on the canvas. So you can see, for example, this is informing you that this particular image is set up as the logo for the portrait sizes. This has been done for every single layer and is done as part of the template creation process when we're building this design initially. When you're happy with this design and you want to jump into the editor to maybe make any final adjustments, simply tap go to editor to enter the, to enter the editor. creating or converting a flexitive design to use as a template. Now, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to take a design you've already created and convert it into a design that's ready to be used as a custom template in Editor Lite. If you're building a design from scratch, you can always follow these best practices as you're building. And if you want more information on how to build a design from scratch, I recommend checking out some of our other tutorial videos on this channel. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on this layers panel. Most of the settings that you're going to be applying that are going to affect Editor Lite are going to be done from within this panel. The first thing that I'm going to do is take the Show Hidden Layers toggle and toggle it on. Now you can see that on the canvas, you can actually see the Adaptive Bean Coffee Co. logo has been added here, this uh, kind of gray translucent version, and you can see a grayed out version of that logo up at the top of the panel. Now the reason we do this is when you are building a design for Editor Lite, every single one of those layers is going to be included in the list of layers you can edit through Editor Lite. By turning this on, we can make all of the changes on this first size uh, and not have to jump into other sizes to make the changes as well. Now in Editor Lite, every single layer of your design is going to have a name. These names are pulled directly from the layer name that is in the panel. And you can see that by default, every single layer will have a name that is provided by Flexitive. For example, text is always just going to be called simply text. Any images that you upload are going to use the file name for that image here. If you change these, they're going to update for the actual Editor Lite design as well. So when you go into Editor Lite, this layer name will pull in and be used. So for example, if I change this to Adaptive Bean logo, and I'll call this square just to differentiate it. This will now be called Adaptive Bean Logo dash square in Editor Lite. Now I can do this for all the different elements. I'm going to update this shape here to be button background. I'll change my coffee cup to be premium roast coffee cup. And I can change the logo here as well to be adaptive bean logo dash landscape. Now, in Editor Lite, you might have noticed that some of the layers had character recommendations. These were specifically text. So for example, this first layer here, celebrate coffee, we had applied a 16 character recommendation for how long to set the text as. Um, this is completely optional, but we do recommend including this in your layer name. So in this particular, um, in this particular element, if we change this to say text one, 16, and we, I'm gonna do 16 CH, CH short for character. This gives a rough idea to any, any designer working with this particular template uh, as to how many characters to include in the text box. Similarly, I'll update this, uh, uh, this Learn More button. I'll just call the layer button text. 
Now, if you'd like to change the actual design content, you can do that as well, of course. I'll just turn layers on. And if I wanted to change, for example, rather than celebrate coffee, I wanted this to be just some placeholder text, so I could call this text one, 16 characters. I can do that as well, just to make it so it's a little bit more generic. Change the text here to say button. And then you could also, if you wanted to, swap out images for more generic placeholders if you would like. I'm not going to do that for this particular design, but that is an option as well. Now, the layer order that you see in this panel here is actually going to be the layer order that is used for Editor Lite. So by default, it's going to use the layer order that is from the first size that you activated. In this particular design, we activated our one by one first, so this is the size where we're going to want to set that layer order. For simplicity, we generally recommend keeping like elements grouped together. So for example, this logo, uh, I have a landscape and square version of the same logo. I'm going to take this logo and just simply drag and drop it to the top of the panel so that they're side by side. It makes it a little bit easier to keep track of. This button text and the button background are side by side already. This is good. Um, and this is a very quick way to just make sure that um, the order of the elements listed in editor light is going to make sense. If you have multiple text boxes um, that say, for example, uh, text one, text two, and text three, where they animate in and out, it may be helpful to keep those elements grouped together as well to make it easier to access. Once you've got the layers set up in the order that you want with the names that you want, we do recommend also jumping into your assets panel and making sure that you've deleted any elements that you don't plan on using in the template. By doing this, you're going to make sure that those don't get brought into the editor um, when the user creates a de uh, design from a template, hopefully removing any confusion that would be associated around that. Thanks again for watching our video on how to create a custom template in Flexitive. If you do have any questions about anything that was covered in this video or anything else regarding Flexitive, please feel free to reach out to us at support at flexitive.com. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. That'll give you a little bit more information on how to build designs from scratch or anything else you might have questions about. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining and I hope you have a great day.